Hello and welcome back to another video on Asia Now. In this video, I'll tell you about a 70-year-old taxi driver who got into a serious accident. The four Filipino seafarers that were abducted by Iranians expected to be released and the two-day transport strike as deemed to be a failure. Beginning with some temperatures and exchange rate, once again, all across the Philippines, temperatures are scorching hot and the Filipino peso dropped a little bit more ground against the US dollar. It's actually the weakest I've seen the Filipino peso since my time in the Philippines before 2019, one US dollar equal to 57 Philippines pesos. Our first story is about a 70 year old taxi driver getting into a serious collision in Manila. A 70 year old taxi driver hit an electric post after losing consciousness in Manila on Tuesday. The Manila Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office was quick to respond after they took the man to the hospital after the medics applied first aid. After looking on Google quickly researching what is the age limit to be a taxi driver in the Philippines, I was not able to find anything. It doesn't seem to be a requirement to be a taxi driver. There doesn't seem to be any age restrictions. So apparently, as long as you can drive and have a license, you can be a taxi driver. But personally, I think there has to be a cutoff age right what if you're 85 90 or whatever like don't get me wrong i interviewed an 83 year old man last year on my main channel living abroad who had the comprehension of a teenager or like a middle-aged man who's very sharp articulate but at some point your brain and your body stop connecting and responding as fast as it would if you're a regular adult so uh i would love to know your thoughts leave your comments down below like of course i want people to be able to make a living to survive to pay for their bills and families and earn a livelihood, but there has to be some kind of age limit, right? Or some kind of practice where they have to take a test annually to ensure that the cognitive uh, situation is actually adequate to drive a taxi because you're putting other people's lives in jeopardy, you're putting their lives at risk, you're putting your own life at risk by crashing into an uh, electric pole. Um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this specific story. I'd love to know, unless I'm missing something, if this guy is over the age or something like that, uh, I'd love to hear from you. The past couple of days, there has been a two-day transport strike, which is now deemed to be unsuccessful. The two-day transport strike carried out by two public utility vehicles, PUV groups, have been unsuccessful, the Department of Transportation said on Tuesday. The DOT secretary said that the government's efforts to offset the two-day transport strike proved to be effective. However, Batista said that two transport groups, Piston and Manbella, have managed to create traffic by blocking roads in some areas. I quote, they were successful in creating traffic. Pero, but we were able to prove the government is ready to address transport issues, Batista said. Staying with transportation, transport groups seek a two peso fare hike. As pump prices continue to soar, a transport group is pushing to increase the minimum fare from 13 pesos to 15 pesos for jeepneys. Next, Iran has promised to release the four Filipino seafarers crew members of MSC Ares, a cargo vessel seized by Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards, uh, near the Strait of Hormos on April 13th. The Department of Foreign Affairs said Tuesday, the four are safe and have contacted their families on Monday night. If you don't know, just a couple days ago, Iran fired over 300 drones towards Israel, and they also seized some vessels that belong to Israel. On that vessel was four Filipino members who are reported to be safe, and Iran is uh, intending to send them back to the Philippines. Not too many crazy stories in the Philippines today, so I don't want to waste your time. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a quick like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.